Welcome to another episode of the People's Mic. I am Jimmy Peoples. Are we both good? We're both good. Yeah. Introduce yourself. Thank you for, for hanging out. Yeah, definitely. My name is yeah. Tommy Danger Kim. I'm new to the scene. Just getting started. Are you new? I'm brand new, man. Man. Still getting broken. I like your, I like your confidence. This is why I had you Thank on. Because 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 yeah. you, you know if you, if you don't say you knew, nobody knows. Yeah. No, yeah. Like, don't say it. Just, yeah. just fucking, just, just <laughs> no, go. Like, just walk in a room, be like, "Yo, I got a show tonight." <laughs> like, I put you on. They be like, "Yo, Tommy's here," so I gotta, I gotta. You guys gotta get bumped. You know, <laughs> just all confident. I thought you, you. How many? How long have you been doing it? Last night I did two sets, Shut and that was first two sets. No, 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 no. no I was that was about my to say, fifth. Bullshit. Yeah, that was my fifth and sixth. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. How old are you? Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. All right. So you're in that cusp of a of a older Asian guy where we still kind of look young. Yeah. But you're about to get the long beard. Yeah. It- <laughs> I just had it. I was I was traveling. I was just going full mountain man. Yeah. Full, full like semi warrior. It's, it's, it's your yeah. uh, it's your experience. That's yeah. why. Yeah. That's that's, that's yeah. what it is. And then it doesn't seem like you just started. Or the context. I, just, just, I also just don't give a fuck. <laughs> the older I get, the less fucks I it's get. It's so you know? good. Yeah. It's it is. so I mean, I'm there too. People yeah. don't understand it. It's yeah. like I don't give. I, I, I try. Yeah. I try to give a fuck, but I don't, I don't, I don't give a Oh, man. I wake up in the morning, I'm like, I should care more. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Oh, man. Every day. I'm at work, and then my boss is just saying <laughs> stuff, and I was like, I, 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 and she's younger. She's younger. Yeah. She, she's a cool black yeah, yeah, black yeah. woman, and, yeah, I, yeah. and I should be like, yeah, ride out for the, yeah, for the black yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh. Isn't it, I, isn't it like sometimes like kind of like crazy how... Little fucks you give. I don't. I'm give like, I, like I give. I wake up. Oh, I should check my email. I'll check my email. I don't give a fuck. Man, you know. Um. Uh, yeah. I'm not married. All right. You got kids. I'm not married. I was divorced. Uh, I am divorced. Thank God, I'm divorced. Yeah. I yeah, was married I was for there. for a minute and didn't work out. It was like a my own version of a Kardashian wedding. Yeah. Kardashian marriage. Okay. And then uh, no How kids. Good. How? Is she Italian? She, she, no, she's like me. We're both Korean American. Okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Cool yeah. shit. Just, just two, and just didn't work out. Bam! Then, it didn't work out. Yeah. How long were you together? We were together total for three years, married for less than a year. Man. As soon as I got married, it's not working now. Really? I was, she, just, she just won the wedding. She just won the she, she was Yeah. That's, she no, just won it. She's like, I'm getting yeah, married. And like, it was, it's, oh, like, fuck. Props to her. Like, you know, just love it all out. Like, I don't want to yeah. just talk. 100 percent Come on, shit. Doug, jump on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Come talk to me. Yeah, Eddie's yeah. not here. I'm yeah. listening. Oh, yeah. Shit. It's like uh like props to her. She's mad, low maintenance. She yeah. she didn't want she wasn't uh she wasn't crazy. Like what I don't was that one show about uh uh girls getting getting married and they turned into Godzilla and Bridezilla. Bridezilla. Yeah, yeah. Bridezilla, she was yeah. the opposite, she was the angel. But once we got oh, married, shit. fuck, it just went to What hell. was the thing that broke it? Finances, money, money, yeah. money, money. That's about it. About that's my, divorce. Divorce. I was, I was, yeah. my longest was eight years, and it, yeah. it was just money. Yeah. Because and, and which which I'm glad I'm glad I, I wasn't killing it with money because I, I would have been in I would have been in, yeah, you, do. you know I'd have been do. and we would never know you know we've just been hey things are good we're, we're doing you making money let's be specific it was the lack of money <laughs> it was lack of money lack of money so wait a minute you think if you had more money that it would be bad for your relationship. Because we would stay together. We would just been together. <laughs> and that's bad for you. you know, and I, I wouldn't have been here. I would have left New York. I would have tried comedy. I would have, yeah, no you know, I would have done Fuck. all the little things. You know, yeah. and then, when when I was when we were breaking up the makeup because of money, I wouldn't, you know, been with like girls that were yeah. ones that got away and be like, hey, uh-huh. maybe you know, I wouldn't have done none of that. Uh-huh. I would have been, you know, uh-huh. in it. Yeah. You know, I'd be yeah. like, yo, I'm I'm a man. I'm taking care of business. There you go. And then, no. Yeah. No, but but then you see all these things, and then you're like, no, nah, it, it's it's uh, it was it's way better for her mm-hmm. because I, I was probably straight. I was I was this my fault. I didn't have money, you know. Yeah. And um, yeah. so did you guys already talk about this? Like, what was the conversation? Was there like an initial thing of like, all right, we got to end this? Or it, like, well, it came out weird because we just got married. We're Two months into our marriage, <laughs> two months. We didn't even go to a, get to our honeymoon yet. Our honeymoon was a little bit out from our actual. We had a, like a mini moon right after the the wedding, but yeah. our actual honeymoon. You got married, yeah. And that's then, so we crazy. it was a couple of months out. So, but she was she just brought it up. She's just like, hey, what if 
you know it's gonna be bad if she yeah. says this. What if we went to our honeymoon as friends? <laughs> I'm just like, what? We are friends. We're best friends. No, 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 no. I mean, as friends. It, it's the and it just went down there that way. No. Nah, so it was nah. her really that broke the thing off. Oh yeah, she did. She was already she like was done. She's just. She's like yeah. being tactical about her ex strategy. So why did she even? <laughs> no, she was like she's a she was like a fucking smart. lieutenant colonel yeah. on the battlefield yeah. trying yeah. to. I need to get my boys out of this battlefield. When, when they get out, yeah. it's, it's either her. It's not working out. You know? Or she had a meeting with her girlfriends. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Does she have friends? Of course. Like her, her, she her, had a little tribunal. Cell? Of course. Oh <laughs> yeah. Oh, vote it out. That's what I wish yeah. I would have saw. Like that <laughs> meeting. Like here's what you do, girl. The board <laughs> said this CEO has to get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, go. Our Wait, stocks are going it? way down. Yeah. She. She. Yeah. Good. So she. But did she, did you want did you, did you want to get married or did she want to get? Married? We both. I, I wanted to get married to her. Yeah. I wanted to get married. Are your parents yeah. married? Yeah. yeah, both our parents are very conservative. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, you, parents, have, you, parents, have, you have a concept yeah. of marriage. Yeah, yeah. I Me, mean, I had no concept of marriage. Like, oh, oh, no, no, no not shit. for you. No, no, I have no interest in. It. I want a bunch, of, and I know it's wrong to, to to be a Rolling Stone, but I, I want a bunch of kids all over the world, and I want to travel. I want to be able to get the jet, go see the kid, my favorite kid of the month, and be like, yo. You know, and the other kids, they, it's, it's, it's incentive to keep their grades up and be good kids, do dope shit. Well, like, daddy's it's like the employee mother month. You have yeah, month, month of month. This, this, I'm, you know, I'm in Africa with Matunde this week. You know, or I'm in Argentina with, with you know, Christopher. I don't, you know, who's, who's ever killing it, you know? That, that, in each continent, I want to be dominate. And I was like, who's got the best, best empire? That's who I'm coming to see. I, I need proud prodigies. That's it. That's it. How long were you guys engaged for? <laughs> we were engaged for. <laughs> this is no, let's get into this. Like, uh, this yeah, is free therapy. Uh-huh. Uh, we were engaged for. Uh, technically, we we're engaged for five months. We got legally married in City Hall two months before the actual wedding. Oh, shit. Did, yeah. None of this is really making any sense to me. So you only were engaged for five months. And we were somehow, we were we were together before that. We were together for like a year and a half. But there must yeah. have been. In that first year and a half, there must have been some problems leading up to the engagement. But you said you both were really into the idea of marriage. Yeah. At the time of engagement. We were both not problem solving. <laughs> we were both in denial of a lot of our own issues. Because I don't... So something must have really gone wrong between yeah. getting engaged and that two months into marriage breaking it off. Once you we got... I mean? Everything like literally months, went right? to shit... The day we got legally married. Yeah. Yeah. Once we got legally married, it's like, oh, shit, we just hit the iceberg. That day? It's, really? It's, it's it's just going to shit. Was there, like, a fight that happened that day? It's just a lot of bad signs, a bad omen just going on. And she she's not the... If there if, if there's, like, a, a Hall of Fame for conflict resolution, she belongs in, like, the D-League for it. Like, she needs to be on the 15th man bench for that because she just doesn't know how to resolve shit with their parents yeah and so i like and i i try to like puff up be the man try to tell her man what it's like of course that was the wrong move tell her man yeah tell tell her tell her dad tell oh her dad. Shit. tell her old man yeah because that was the wrong move oh you don't tell the dad oh yeah that's fucking you don't even, that even was i know such a jackass dad. and but now that i'm divorced i'm so happy i did it <laughs> you, you stood up to him was, was he a strong guy no or? he's weak as hell he used to oh. be a man <laughs> He's the what? He used to be a mailman. Oh yeah. fuck! Yeah, he, he wasn't. He wasn't like a like a mob boss. No, he's a cool like, dude. Like... <laughs> <laughs> he said henchman. If he looked like... anything like you, I'm yeah. just like, please, sir. Yeah, we were the black dad, right? Yeah, just like mumble something. Yo, yeah. I, 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 if I have a daughter, yeah, I need to be rich. If I have a daughter, I need to be able to call the army, a SWAT team, something. So, I, and my guys be like, yeah, handle this. Need to be, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can't. I can't have a daughter and not have backup. I can't just be a guy, and then I don't know who the fuck she's gonna date, yeah. right? Yeah. Who would you want your daughter to be with? Nobody. I want to be. Nobody. I want her to be a lesbian. Every every dad wants their daughter to be a lesbian. What right? if she came home with like a CEO, stockbroker type, like a hedge Some fund fight guy? guy? Some I don't think my. I, 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 I think I'd be better to raise a good daughter, a good smart kid. Then. He's gonna be like he's gonna be me. Yeah. He's gonna be. I know. If 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 she's not a lesbian, he's she's gonna bring me home. And you do not want that. No. <laughs> not 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 asshole me. Yeah. I need to get have a shit together me. And and 
Yeah. What if what if like your daughter brought home a a real big nerd, but like the most alpha nerd? Like he's actually like like a basil. Have a seat right there. So yeah. He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gotta be cool as shit. I gotta like this fucking kid. I, yeah. I, mean, I gotta. I, man, and I'm not. Because <laughs> nobody's, no matter how dope he is, yeah. he, he's 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 got to be a, a smart, calculated entrepreneur. You know, yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't it's never good enough. It's no, good. she can't. She can't bring like yeah. the top surgeon home. I'm like, yeah. fuck this kid. You yeah. know, yeah. this this. He's, I, don't know. I feel like I want my daughter to bring home like the worst guy ever, and just have her just shun her from the family. And let her live through the worst experiences of, that you could possibly no, experience I'm, I'm, as a person. I'm still, I'm still, She'd come out on top, you know, a stronger person. No, I, no, that's my pretty baby. Deep. Yeah, I, pretty deep. My 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 kid is gonna is gonna be trained at an early age. She's, <laughs> she's gonna be a warrior. She's gonna speak languages. She's gonna be a tough. I don't know. In my head, this is my. <laughs> I'm the type of kid. If you kidnap my kid, I can say like a like a catchphrase, and she'll kill it by you. <laughs> That's, I don't know. Dead goose, dead goose. Dead go, 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 go. Green light, green light, like, dead yeah, goose. We have your daughter, and, and you sent us money. And I'm like, let me speak to my child one last time. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> dead goose. And then it's like, bye. And then she'll end up at the doorstep with blood on her face. The whole back. <laughs> yeah. and it's a whole like room, war room. We got to call Green for dead goose. Go, 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 go. It activates like Fucking the Manchurian rifle. campaign. Yeah, you, you know, you know, my dream relation for her is, is did you see uh like in Supergirl, there's the uh the two gay couple, the gay couple, yeah. the one one of the um, Supergirl sister is gay, uh-huh. and she dated a cop, uh-huh. and they were just two girls, just cool as shit, just mm-hmm. cop detectives, mm-hmm. and then saving the universe. That's mm-hmm. my daughter, just saving the universe, mm-hmm. and I don't fucking know. Not dealing with dicks. No, no, yeah. no dicks. So yeah. she's like a career woman type that yeah, only cares she's, about she's fucking real woman. forwarding humanity. Absolutely. And she's a good person. Being she, that housewife. She's a kick ass. She's a fucking, not a housewife. She's, she's Michelle Obama fucking, with superpowers. Yes. Fucking A. Yes, and fucking likes a. women. And in the women, yeah. Michelle Obama who yeah. dates Gail. Yeah. And takes Gail from Oprah. <laughs> Michelle Obama and Gail would make Michelle a great Obama, couple. Ellen DeGeneres, and Super Supergirl. Supergirl. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. It's never gonna happen. I don't know how. Hey, you got it. Hey, it's it's your offspring. You gotta you gotta want the best for them. But I need a son too. I need I need I need a I need I need I need, I need four daughters, three sons. <laughs> All over the world. All over the world. In each country. You got the little black Russian you got daughter. Seven uh, times black Russian. Yeah. I need a black Russian in Russia just running shit. I mean, I need a, 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 a an African, a, a, like, like, a, like a Senegalese, like just a tall son. I, I need a tall. My son has like. Tall and just strong yeah. comes in a room with a silhouette. Uh, 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 we're in South America, the Venezuelan. You're putting know. all your daughters in Antarctica, definitely. Keep them safe. Keep them one, away. yeah, Get somewhere far. That's a good, good point. <laughs> it's a I didn't think of that. Yep, it's a backup. Yep, yep. All the girls. Yeah. See you later, <laughs> Antarctica. Sleep with the penguins. Start doing some research. <laughs> That's the name of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep with the penguins. That's a good day for a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> when did this divorce happen, though? Is this recent? Must it was. Uh, we filed. We we got married in September 2014. We filed the paperwork in June 2015. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Damn. Were you guys living together? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it's about right. 14, Once we started was dating, the breakup year. <laughs> Bro, 14. Once we started dating, I was like in transition with my career, so I was kind of broke. I was broke, so mm-hmm. I was just like, hey, can I move in with you? Like oh, two yes. two months into like dating, I was just, can yeah. I move in? She's like super excited. Yes, please. Yeah. So, she she yeah. moved she moved in with me in the Bronx and and uh it wasn't excessive mm-hmm. all right and it was uh, it, then we moved well I I then I started running out of money I was in a relationship I was happy and then all my money was going that's there what happens go. and go. then they, they're with you when when yeah. it's good and then when it gets bad it's like oh I'm, I gotta go it's, it's like this in <laughs> the got, bad way yeah yeah, yeah. And then then it's like damn I'm gonna relate damn mm-hmm. and then she moved mm-hmm. to Delaware and then uh. I was like, well, I guess we're coming. I guess I did. She was, she was, she was. I she didn't say come, but it was like she didn't she say was, come. She was looking for a place, and I just ended up being there. And then it was just a series of wherever you go, I go. You go, I go. You go, I go. Because we're a team now. And then 
you must have been happy with that at the time, though, when it was going on. Yeah, I mean, because t- yeah, because I was trying to make money, but it right. wasn't making any real money because and she, she was, was she was in, yeah, she was in position where she could make money yeah. and I couldn't make any money. You know, you can't uh, per- trying to personal train in Delaware. Yeah. No, no <laughs> fuck. They don't. They, they're no farmers like you. I'm trying. Can to we talk drug. about Delaware for a second? Though? Yes. What, what do you What do you think about Delaware? I love Delaware. Okay. I, only if you have money. Yeah. If you don't have money, it's a shit show. It's a you know? fucking shit show. Yeah. It's it's if you got like, money, you can get a man. Delaware. The house, things I know about drive. Delaware, Connecticut. Yeah. It's just. Just it's, get yeah, no sales just, tax. But just yeah. drive through them. Like it's, it's mostly a highway, right? It's yeah. just a highway. The, the, the bus really stops are on the highway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the highway. You know that's bad. They, when they, they got they, bus stops on the highway. Yo, I had to go you to know Philly it's bad. Man, the bus came when I was, <laughs> that was one of my early jobs. The bus came when they felt like it. It was like every yeah. hour, if you missed the bus, you better. You, there's no way to uh, to tell. Yep. Like go, there was no app, yeah. or there was no way to yeah. tell if the bus was coming. You're waiting. If you miss the bus, yeah, maybe it'll come in an hour. Yeah, maybe you'll be out there too. Maybe it just won't come. Yeah. maybe the guy quit. Yeah. It was yeah. like. Yeah. On the highway, yeah. you're standing. There, cars just zooming by. Somebody, like seventy miles like, power. Let's just put a bus stop here. Let's just put it right here. I don't give a fuck. Like there was always a bus stop, but then they built a highway through the bus stop and left the bus stop. Let's build a highway to, like, your, they, they to your loneliness. They didn't you know? know there, there would be people getting hit by cars. Like oh and they God. have like a number counter of how many people <laughs> got got hit because you had to cross like up. A mile, like a mile away to cross the street. Some people are like, fuck that. Just cross. Just cross if if cars are coming across, yeah. but cars can't see you first thing in the morning, they don't give a shit. So people will get hit by cars. <laughs> like roadkill. They just oh, smack down the dang. street. Just running down the street. It's delicate. Can you imagine like you have, you, you're like just going to your shitty job. You have to like stretch before you run across the highway yeah. to get on the yeah. bus on the highway. Maybe Trucks don't give up. Fuck! Those trucks were like <laughs> pet cemetery when they hit the baby. They were like, okay. Zoom. Yesterday, I, I pulled a hammy. Fucking gotta run through this. Yeah. Fuck, man. Did you have a social life in Delaware? Did I have a social... Nah, I, 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 there was a point where I wasn't doing comedy. Um, nah, it was all her. It was all her. It was her and her family. I, I was trying to hang out with my frat brothers, but... Yeah. You know, but it was, I wasn't into it. Right. Like, I didn't... Did you know anybody in Delaware when you moved there besides her? No, just no. her and her family. Yeah, so I knew people start going to the gym. No, I, didn't, I, I wasn't Delaware. really a social life guy. Yeah. I, it was like, I got to go. I'm good. I got yeah. the dogs. I take dogs to the dog park. I was, I was a there, dog man. park dad. I was there. You know? And then yeah. I was training dogs. It was fucking... Oh, that's pretty cool. Bomb, breaking in the big dogs at the oh, yeah. at the at the, cool. at the uh, animal shelter. That's it. I yeah. went to the park. She went to work. And I took care of the dogs or our kids. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even want to talk about this anymore. Yeah, this is like so long ago. <laughs> it's like a lifetime ago. And yeah. It's like when did now, this happen? That was like fourteen. I, I, we broke up in fourteen. Wow. But I'm only talking about it because he, because yeah. we were late. Yeah. We're old yeah. guys, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you don't look that old though. No, no I'm thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Wow. Yeah. You guys are both yeah. old. Yeah, Shit. <laughs> I'm forty-one. And I, I, I don't, I don't see myself. I, I just want to. A kid. I like you know me. I like short term relationships. Yeah, yeah. You know? It seems to it me really like is. you, it's... you in particular, are the only guy that I've ever met who really seems like you have your life exactly where you want it, and you wouldn't really change it. Would no, you change no, your no, life? No, like no, no, it's just money. It's, it's not money. It's um, it's accessibility. Yeah, like like it's just being able to do. Like if I got an idea, I want to be able to make it happen. To do it, you yeah. know, and then. Do it and then go on to the next one. That's, That's the guy I want to be. That's it. And and I'm right on the cusp. Yeah. Right. I got a bunch of little shits happening. The training's good. Whatever. But you know, would you rather not train? No, I love training. I, I love training. I don't like being in 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 a corporate gym. Having to, yeah. You know, because because they don't care about bosses. fitness. It's yeah. all numbers and mm-hmm. bullshit. I want to I want to train dope people who want to train. Yeah. Like, like I train a person who is a little autistic. Yeah. But it was like you don't want to be like. What the fuck am I doing? Yeah. You know, and it, 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 that's not. I want. I want like. I have goals. I want to give. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Can you help me? And if I'm that guy for you, I yeah. want to be able to train dope people. You want to have like a private training corporation? A couple of people. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it, not, not, not like a, like a, like a, like an Instagram guy. I like the guys who go to gym, be like, hey, and people come to your gym because I came to your gym. Do you have like? Uh, I'm not there. What? Do you have? You don't. Do you have trainer friends that you could like? 
say, hey, grab all your clients. We're fucking, we're leaving. Mm-hmm. A few. Well, a couple guys are, are mm-hmm. at it. They left. They're, they're like in Florida and other yeah. places. Uh-huh. Like the guys that I would tap into. Like, yeah. I got guys that used to train. But I, I didn't, like when I first started training, I was like, I'm going to build a, a, a network. I was all about networking. And <laughs> I, I had I, every, every like little meeting I went to, I took everybody's name and I'm like, I'm the guy. You're the guy. We're going to be yeah. fucking super friends. Oh, I'm still and then I, I used to make no. lists and I had like, Call sheets and, and I was that guy. I was like, I'm in the room. Everybody knew me. I was I was crazy with networking. Yeah, yo, but then, there, man. Yeah, <laughs> then you get into it. Like nobody cares. Fuck that. Nobody <laughs> gives a shit. I, I just want to be. I, I, I like C T Fletcher's link, mm. and and I, I just want to be a respected guy. Yes, yeah. you know. Yeah, and and I got a, I got a long ways to go, but I know that it exists. Now, mm. You know, and I, I would like to be in that realm. This but, dude, yo, this dude who. Who's great on Instagram? I love seeing his posts. He's a monster. He's a beast. I'm getting into weightlifting, mm-hmm. and uh, so. But then he sends me a, a DM. He's like, "Hey, so very cool message, but I understand what he's trying to get. I trying to get me as a as a digital client, mm-hmm. consulting client." Yeah, and they they send you that shit. I'm just like, but he he respectfully he said a very cool message. Mm-hmm. Hey, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the comments. What are your goals? Yeah. It's something cool like that. Yeah. I'm just like. Ah. Why'd you have to ruin this? <laughs> With the I sell. love following you. Trying to you. sell me. But why'd you have yeah, to ruin this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I, like. I was thinking about. I wanted to sell pro. I know there's a there's a way that I have to think about making money. Like like. I was thinking about products or something. I, I know a product that I want to do that, yeah. that it deals yeah. with my history, yeah. but I don't want anybody to take it yet because yeah, nobody's yeah. doing it yet. Um, but I don't want to be, hey, buy my program and then be like the commercial YouTube. Yeah. I just want to be a cool guy. Hey, I got some shit. You want to buy it? it it'll help you if you, you know. I want to actually change some shit. Yeah. yeah. Really? You're yeah. you're kind of you're you're. You're interesting to me because you're kind of you. You're very all over the place. You're like a yeah. modern day Renaissance man. You know, you're like uh, you got the okay. whole training thing. You got mm-hmm. your goals with the where you want to be with training. Mm-hmm. Then you got this whole entrepreneurial side of yeah. like I want to create products mm-hmm. that I know can help people. I have ideas. You're like yeah. Thomas Edison. Mm-hmm. You're trying to sell them to people. And then on the other side of the coin, you got this whole entertainment. Uh, yeah. It's network thing. You got the website, you got the podcast, you got the YouTube yeah. channel, you got everything working for you. So it's like what there's no possible way that you could succeed at all of these things. Do you do you understand no, it's that? Or is it's, no it's, or you it's, just it's, wanna be working on all of them? I just wanna work on all of them. So I'm working on like like before like I know some people like you gotta work on focus on one thing. Nah. I I grew up where uh, with with uh, people who were mentally ill. All right, and the, being in a room with people who talk like multiple people, you had to be all over the place. You had to be on top. It, it was it, it was an insane environment, right? So me working in chaos, I was like, that's where I'm comfortable. You know, I'm comfortable with a bunch of things going on, and 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 you, if you're able to organize that, that works for me. It doesn't work for everybody. Everybody's like, no, this is crazy, and like, there's no business plan for what's in my head. You know, and that's hard to explain to people and frustrating. Do you think at some level that this is like a, a kind of an existential thing where like you're trying to find happiness through digging, uh, through throwing yourself into these larger things? No, it is the happiness. Yeah. That the, the, yeah, the working slowly, toward the like, goals. Like, well, you, I remember the best way to explain it was this. When I was in school, we used to, as a kid, we used to build these little buildings with, with bricks, right? You build them up, it'd be this dope building you build up. Then anyway, we knock the shit over and build Sorry another to cut one. You off. Is that okay? Oh shit. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> that was a good moment. That was a beautiful yeah. moment. Good job. Just shut down on you. It always does. What's your name? Doug. Tommy Danger. Tommy Danger. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Doug. Tommy Danger. Is that a, that's not say a real it. name. Did you just shut Yeah, say it again. I don't know how much they made. I, they got it on there. So, yeah, um, um, yeah that's my point. Is uh, we build these buildings with, with bricks and then just knock them over and then start over. But that was happy. It's just seeing it and then not dwelling on it. But the, it was a thing done, and then you move on to the next thing. You know, so you don't get bogged down in like. It, I mean, you, you're very invested in these goals that you have, mm-hmm. and I feel like when you reach them, you said you're just gonna knock it down, just move on to the next yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy to me. I can't. I can't do no? that. I can't do that. No. If I'm like working on something so hard, you are, you, are you just doing open like comedy? Are you doing just doing that right now? I Is mean, one hundred percent right now. 
Yeah, I do. I, that's definitely the career thing that I'm trying to work toward. But it's really all of entertainment. You know, I'm working yeah, 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 on totally. I'm working on music things. I'm working go. on writing. I'm same? working on you know. It's yeah, it's all the same same? shit. But um, but I feel like once I reach a level of that, my whole thing right now is I want to make I want to support myself completely financially on entertainment. Yeah. And I feel like once I reach that goal, I'm gonna be lost in life. Nice. Like I'm not gonna have. Uh, no, I don't know where the fuck what, I'm gonna go. What do you, there's always something more because there's always another part. In entertainment that's, that's what I would in, hope. The, in the crew, it's it's just blank pages, right? So once you fill that page, you flip it over, start a new page. But then, what's the new page about? You know, that, that's, that's not, when you sit in the room and be like, "Hey, what's the next project?" But we're we're that? talking about it right now, where it's like the all the money thing mm-hmm. is so huge and uh, yeah. like it, it when when that's when that kind of pressure is on your back. You're never going to have that drive again. You're never going to have that force that is driving me right now to get to a certain level. How long, how long have you been in this capacity? Only been two and a half years, you know? Mm-hmm. And, I mean, it's soul-crushing, and I feel like there's still 10 years plus probably to go with it. It's your life, though. It's your whole life. Right, but I feel like I should be able to, 10 years down the line from now, be supporting myself on entertainment. And if I'm not able to do that, then I really should just kill myself. No, but should. I feel like even if I make it, even if I make it to the point where I'm supporting myself financially, I'm still going to want to just kill myself because it's like, what the fuck else am I going to do? I'm going to move to the woods and build a cabin for myself, you know? No, 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 no. You're going to become a always, cruise director. There's always, a, there's always a big, there's always a big bull to conquer, you know. And you, and you find I would hope that so. in some, it, it is, yeah, it is every single time. But that's you why know? I admire you. That's one of the things where yeah. it's like you have all these it's things like, going on for yourself. What, what happens is I'll, I'll, I'll be doing a thing and I'll be doing so like I'll do this now. Yeah, right? the bar might close down, right? And then you'll have a moment where I'm not doing this, yeah. right? And then you just move like the 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 universe. I, I hate to say it, it, it finds a way to adapt to your energy. Mm. Like as long as you're like, I am gonna do something. It 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 doors open like doors and windows. I know? connect to that, and, a lot. And, and I was like, I, I had too much energy to not move from what I was doing before to to do this. You know, right. and it's not huge. It's not crazy. It's not great, but it's it's it's, a, it's still another project. Yeah. You know, and it, and it's it's still evolving. You know, it's this is a baby. Yeah. You know, and and it's it's, it's I have a, stuff to learn from it and take from it, and it's gonna move on to the next thing. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you? What is it ultimately that you guys want out of your life? I just like, want fireworks and helicopters. Yeah. At the, at the last day, and, and it's in a stadium, and everybody play hey, all the people that I may have helped. Do you want to um, leave behind a legacy? Do you think that that's the point of existing? I, I want my son to be like, holy shit, I can do better than this. Yeah. Or oh, my daughter or my kids. And I'll, I'll them to not feel, which is my biggest regret, is is my sister felt like she was in my shadow, which I wanted her to feel like she I'm, I'm, I have this blood right. and I can, I can do dope shit too. Right. Just different shit. Yeah. But she didn't feel like it. She felt like, man, my brother's big as shit. And he, he has so much energy. I got to go far away. Which was uh, I wish I did. She didn't feel like that, and then uh, she was like, and then which is I, I wish I knew how to talk her out of it. Going. So you want to? I, I love that. I love that you want to inspire yeah. your family to be better than you are. Like Absolutely. no matter how much just do different, you achieve, bigger shit, right? No, not even better. Like, hey, look what I did. I, I did yeah. dope shit too. What and about I, you? What do you want? I think I just got started with old mics. Mm-hmm. So I'm still trying to figure You're it out. You're so big. You're gonna be. <laughs> I see it already. I see. It. It's Dude, just I don't want to. You're dope. I you, want to. You only have you. to say. You're just sorry. I, I can see. Yeah. It. Come on. We're yeah. older dudes, yeah. so you have yeah. your baggage. Yeah. Your box. Yeah. All you gotta do is keep digging and play. Yo, yeah. look at this. Yeah. This is what I did. Keep digging. Well, I just box. mentioned cruise director because one of the, I, the one time I went on a cruise this is like over ten years ago. I went on a cruise with my best buddy. It was like some, you know, run of the mill carnival, or whatever. And the the carnival, the, the cruise, the entertainment every night, you know, there's a show, dance, a song, whatever. But there was a comedian doing his 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. And then he had a whole hour set later on, which he had to pay. That's a premium thing. Yeah. But he give you the 15 minutes rated PG-13, whatever. But uh, but I was like, that's a dope gig. I was not into comedy back yeah. then. I was just like, kind of was just, just a goofy kid, cocky kid. But I was like, dude, you get to be on a cruise <laughs> and tell jokes, people laugh at you. That's yeah. a dope job. I want that job. Yeah. 
So that's where I'm at. I want to be a comic on a cruise. No, but really, I, I, I'm like, you're into this two and a half years, mad respect to that. But for me, being a little bit older in life, I had a few failed careers, I had a failed marriage. So I've learned for that. For me, my, uh, my timetable is a little bit more intense, a little bit more short. And like, in one year, I want something like palpable. I want to be tangible. I don't know what it is, but I don't want to be like, like uh, I, I want to be definitely someone prove it from you know where I'm at now. Obviously, I just not started. Good. Maybe it's very selfish of me, but I'm like fuck it. I gotta like I'm I'm not I'm feeling my age. Like yeah. I'm not gonna be alive, so I don't want to be in my fifties struggling trying to be a comic. No, I want to be moving on to something else that works. It's more uh, ten worthwhile. years, ten yeah. years, ten years from now. Yeah, ten years from now, um, um, you'll be a name as long as you do it every day. You know, get get on every day, be around every day. Yeah. You can't not be respected. You know, it, it, as long as you're putting the work in. Um, um, what was I going to ask you? What you do? What was your job before comedy? What I'm still, I'm still doing my job. I mean, I'm an accountant during the day. That's that's the, yeah. that's where it. And yeah. you have a job, so yeah. that that money you can put. Yeah. Which is which is. Some sometimes like like there's two sides of it. I I went the Steve Harvey route. Where he was like, quit your job, do the thing you love, invest in it, and just find a way yeah. and throw the parachute up, yeah. and you're gonna fall in. And, yeah. and for three, I, I ate. Woo! Just coming out, just go, maybe in the yeah. last year, just How coming out. You? This last three, well, three, four, the oh. whole four, well, eighteen, the last four years, man. Yeah. So, forty-one, thirty-seven to, to yeah. forty-one yeah. is where I yeah. really fucking it, yeah. it hurt. Yeah. 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 But it made it was character building. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and it made me get to where I am now and yeah. put my head down yeah. and, and and sharpen a bunch of tools. Yeah. And then now I know the next couple of years now yeah. it's going to be, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. I mean, it, it, that was a scary part. It might get scary again, but yeah. I know I know how to navigate through it again. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, 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 but you have a job. So, so yeah. is that the love? Fuck, I need to get out of that. <laughs> you want to get out? I'm trying to create a bit about that. So, just an accountant trying to be a comedian. How do, how do you how do you help? Can accounts account for money, right? Yeah. So, you, do you find money? We do. You, you work with people with money. We basically record money. That's record really money. the easiest way because you need record to record people with money or just anybody. Just, just, just businesses. Businesses. Yeah, yeah. Because even people with even even all the the celebrities that we know. Mm-hmm. They they don't have money. They're 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 the company, the shell companies. They make half money. Okay, because it's just, it's a better way to get yeah. money. Yeah. The only way I can help me is yeah. like through this shit. And then I used to do a bunch of shows, which uh, I, I, it's not doing now. But in training, you know, I try. That's how I would try to help comedians. Is I train comics here and there. Mm-hmm. But um, using your job, mm-hmm. you flip that to help comics. Find find your way, Maybe. you know. Yeah. I don't know. We'll I, don't, I don't fucking know. But... I mean, I <laughs> I I'm really at a loss for uh, a lot, you know. Why? I I, can't, I I really struggle to find the like the meaning behind uh, everything, and I feel as though I've always been this way, where it's like, what is the what is the actual point of even getting up in the morning and then going to the places that you're going, you know what I mean? And what's, what is actually driving you into the future and what's to say that you shouldn't just stop it all right now. You know what I mean? So that's what I struggle with. Like, thank you for making this comedy podcast, the deepest podcast. (laughs) What what is the (laughs) thing? (laughs) You, 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 uh, yes. Yep, the podcast yeah. is too that you're fucking interrupted. <laughs> Have a seat because you could look cool as shit. Have a, you're a comedian? Yeah. Yeah, nobody ever knows. I mean, that's good to everybody. Have a seat. Say your name. Yell your name real quick. Kari Rock. You, Kari? Kari. 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 I just, just look Hari. at your silhouette. Welcome, Hari. You look like the guy that gets things. Like, like go see Hari. He was like, yeah, I can get some things for you. Just hang out if you like. We we'll get the mic started at 3 o'clock. He's, he's, a, he's a nice looking guy who turns out to be the kidnapper. That's yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah. He's like the good bad guy. Hey, right? how's it going? Hi, hey, am I here for the fucker? <laughs> <laughs> I got some guys out here who will speak to you. <laughs> but what, what is the, the meaning? Is, is I, I don't know. I, I forgot. I had a, a saying about about purpose. You know, you got you got you got to make 
You got to make your own purpose. Your own purpose. Right. Yeah. You know, which, but, which, as older guys, as not giving a fuck, like, it's it, it. See, but this see, is what that, we're talking that's, about, though. Okay. That's also it, but it's also, maybe I'm just, I just love being dark and I just have a kick out of it. So I find that life has meaningless. So whatever you're doing right now should be the meaning. Yeah. So Mom. for me, like, just last week, I, you know, I did open mic last week. Last week, and it was a, a late open night. Mike started at 11. I didn't go up till like 1. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just fucking waiting two hours for three minutes. I'm like, is this fucking, am I doing this? And then the next day, I just had a, you know, a, a spiritual moment. It's like, mm-hmm. fuck it. I'm doing this. I got to do this. Yeah. I got to do this every yeah, day, you know. I got to yeah, do it. I got time on mic. Time on mic. I, I got to get that time on but mic. That's, uh, but that's, what, that's the whole thing that we're talking about. We're talking about these goals. This momentum is driving you forward to reach these goals. And then you reach them. And that's the purpose. That's what's driving you in the moment right now. That's what you're saying. But then that goes away, ultimately, once you get to the place that you want to be going. There's always another one. Because you're yeah. creating, it's, it's, but then you have hills, to create it out of nowhere. No, it's, it's hills and valleys. But right? Did exactly. you ever read that? Sure. It, of course. And, and then there's one, there's lows, and then there's always another one. There's always another one. No matter, it, there's but no way that it, it, it just ends. I feel as you know? though, I feel like I'm in a low right now, but and that has sitting, nothing, but that has, that, that, that has nothing to do with the, the mm-hmm. meaning, the drive for me going into the future. You know, yeah. I could be in a low and still have this purpose yeah. dr- driving me forward toward the up, you know, mm-hmm. but I'm saying that once I make it to the top or even if I'm in the bottom mm-hmm. and I find this goal that I've been driving toward, it's, mm-hmm. There's no more drive, you, you know. Try Whether something. you're in a high or a low, you're, there's no drive. There's no point in going forward for the next one. You Doug, know? I was there with different careers, and it's not entertaining, but still, I I was exactly saying the same thing. And you got to do something different. You got to yeah. even if it's temporary. Yeah. Yeah. You don't don't lock you're, yourself you're into it. A but it's thing. not like you, okay, even if I it's learning do something. something new. Yeah. Or learn a Whatever little thing because that little thing leads yeah. to is maybe a tool because for what you're gonna do. Once, once you put yourself in a new situation with new salad challenges, okay, let's see what this is like for the next year. Not too long, not too short, and then and then you you feel much better. And also, it's that new set of people, new community, if you will, that kind of brings you up a little bit yeah. because. I feel like the only way that I'm going to make it to the end of my life, like to die of natural causes, like without me blowing my head off with a shotgun, the only way that that's going to happen is if I act as though every day I need to become the next name. You know, people talk about Mozart or they talk about Freud or they talk about Hitler, you know, I need to be... If, if I'm going to make it to the end of life, sure. I need to be the next. I you need to be a guy. Kick, um, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you you got to be the biggest. Yeah. Well, that, that's the answer. Yeah, maybe, maybe he does. That's what I'm saying. No. So, <laughs> you, you be the biggest you. Don't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I've never. I'm not trying to be the biggest man. I just, I just want. To, to, to be the big the 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 uh, dopest me I give I want people yeah. to look in the room and be like that's that's, that's Jimmy yeah you know he does dope shit and that's it yeah. you know and it's just a, a box of dope shit that you keep putting shit in and, and who knows maybe growing. maybe ten years from now I'm still doing open mics maybe I'm still waiting my two hours for three minutes we we talked about this the other day I, I want to be doing this till I die I want to do this mic and I want to come that's back the first thing you and said I, when I was here yeah, yeah I don't want to I want to grow it it you know how intense that that yeah. it, like having all those dope people who still come back because I come back and then, and then who've yeah. grown and had careers and then there's still three day people who are like yo it's kind of dope like like if Louie and Bill and Jerry were in a room at a mic just with regular fucking flukes mm-hmm. I think that would be dope I don't maybe but as, as like it's like uh, that's what I love about you so much though and that's what I was saying before is that you I I don't. I love how happy you are with the way that your life is going. You know what yeah. I mean. I I can feel it like uh, evoking from your soul, like how much you don't really need anything to change. And I I don't know. I yeah. I couldn't. I don't think I could ever be that stable in life. You know. My, my I, I feel like my job is just to share it. But I, but I don't know if anybody's had near death experiences. Um. But. Uh, When, when you're, uh, I flatlined three times. 
So oh shit, I'll play, I'll play oh my like gosh. three times, and we'll get this mic started. And I'll tell you, this wood. and I don't, I can't explain. It smells like three s- different times. No, three at, at once. But before three at uh, once. At once. So three, oh you, you flatline uh, thirty seconds, twenty seconds, and thirty-two seconds, oh or something God. like that. And uh, and and people who have had one. And then, and then you get this this sense of it's everything smells like cinnamon or or I've sweet. heard that before. It smells like sweet, and that's what life smells like. Like no matter how bad or how shitty situations are, it, it smells so fucking good. And and I, and you can't explain that to people, but you can. What did you see, did you see anything? Uh, I, it, 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I know. I know certain things that I remember. Yeah, yeah. What right. did you see? I, I remember saying goodbye to my sister. Oh my! Like, we don't. God. We don't have time for it. But, but I, um, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> yeah, it, 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 that's a longer story. Yeah, you know, yeah, I saw her before she died, and then uh, it was like uh, the the kid. It was, there was a child's hospital, and uh, the kids came to get me because I was paralyzed, and they came to get me. And when they walked me to this, the the wing that was destroyed or something, and then when I explained it to the nurse, she was like, "Yeah, that's our old wing." Or whatever, Ooh. which is weird. But then I, 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 I knew I wasn't able to see her. But they took me there when I was unconscious, and then I remember seeing a line of like hundreds of kids oh my walk God. down the hill, and then I hugged, and she was like, "I mean, I'm, I'm, I can, I can still feel her." And then uh, that's then the she, craziest thing I've ever heard in my yeah, entire life. It, it was, I remember, it was, it was, I got a handful of things that. <laughs> Now, for people who say you don't believe, I believe in something. I don't know. I didn't really have like a, a godly experience, but I had like an energy experience. I definitely, There's definitely an yeah. energy beyond. Let's start the mic. How about that? <laughs> I, I just start the mic on that. We'll talk about it. We can talk about it another yeah. time. Um, thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, tell them where they can find you at. Um, you can find me at uh, bitcoin69.tumblr.com. Dot <laughs> com? Dot com. Oh. And, I thought uh, you big, bitcoin com. Dot com. Mm. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I go to a lot of open mics. You can find me at some open mics. So. Yeah. All right. That's where you're rocking. And a website? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's, uh, you know. Tommy, you got a website? Uh, not really. I have a website where. Not yet. Not yet. All right, go. Go for it. No I just said my website, bitcoin69.tumblr.com. That's long as fuck. I hate you. All right. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram, Tommy Danger Kim. Same thing on Facebook. Is that your what's your real name? What's your real name? Tommy Danger Kim. <laughs> Tommy Kim. Tommy, Kim. <laughs> Tommy Danger Kim. Your parents named you Danger? <laughs> when, <laughs> they, when they <laughs> finally, <laughs> no, I'm not fucking with you. Yeah. When they finally find out I'm a North Korean terrorist, you know, the FBI Thomas Danger Kim is actually a North Korean terrorist posing as an open mic comedian. Blah blah blah. Yeah, that's me. Shut no, the fuck up! No I don't know around. what to believe in. No yeah. shitting around. FBI, yeah, fuck. That's not a bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. um, um, um. We get your website when you come back. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, uh, give it up for them one more time. Thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, you don't clap. You're the only person I can see. I'm not, uh, it's another episode of People's Mike. I am Jim Peoples. You can find it on Spotify, iHeartRadio, and wherever you can find podcasts. Uh, JimPeoples.com, J Peoples TV on on. Uh, what's the thing he called? YouTube. Uh, this is episode 225. So you can go to Alexa and say, hey, let me hear that Tommy Danger and, and, and Doug. I always want to call you Doug Bradley. Doug, Doug, Doug <laughs> Brady. Doug, who, who's the other Doug? Doug, uh, Doug Brian. Doug Brian. I was, all right, I just saw him yesterday. And uh, on 225. And uh, we start the mic at 3 o'clock every day, uh, Monday to Friday. And we're going to have a good goddamn time. Come hang out. Have a good night. Thank you. Subscribe. Oh, subscribe. <laughs>